What's up guys, if you are sick and tired of getting scammed by NBA 2K's packs, make sure to head over to safembamt.com, use code BUGS for 5% off a checkout, and get that cheap, fast, reliable MT that you guys definitely need in this game. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video. And guys, today we're going over the market as per usual. Shout out to all the people in the stream for the 250k tournament, man. I played pretty well last game. It did just go a little south. It just didn't go my way. Shout out to the kid who beat me. Um, he played amazing, man. Shout out to that kid. Um, I was lacking, man. I swear, every time I looked at the stream, I literally was not paying attention for that split second and he stole the ball. I think that happened like six times. So yeah, but shout out to him, man. Like it up if you're new, sub up, comment, all that good stuff. We're doing a giveaway on Monday again on stream. Every time we stream, we usually do giveaways. We streamed six times this week, guys. So we're gonna go over the market. If you guys need MT, if you wanna buy and or sell your MT, hit me up, man. I am selling and buying MT, Instagram or Twitter. Make sure to follow those socials for the giveaways. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go over the market. We're gonna see if it's rising. We're gonna see if it's not rising. So here we go. Let's go to the shooting guard pink diamond. And right now, man, market is actually like not rising yet. It's rising a little bit. It's like up, but it's down at the same time. So looking at the market right now, is it worth selling these cards? Well, the market, let's go over some other things. I wanna go over the diamond glitch filter, see what's happening over there. Uh, Monte Ellis, Zion's up in value. So this is what I see. So pretty much the cards that are actually like usable for the 250K. So Monte Ellis, I think is no longer a buyout. Oh no, he's back to a buyout. So it looks like that since the 250K tournament is coming to an end, it looks like the market will go right back to crashing. And then we're gonna get packs on Tuesday. So when is a good time to sell your investments? <sighs> Let's look at Tommy G, man. It's hard to tell. We're gonna get crazy super packs. Like I said, man, if you want, you might want to be able to snipe when those super packs do drop. Looks like Tommy G's, if you got him for 5K, he went up in value about 1,000 MT extra. So 5,900 there. Let's see when the next one is. So, okay, 5,900. And the next one is at 6,800. So I got most of mine for 4,500 to 6,000. I don't know, 4,500 to 5,000 MT. So if you guys want, you're going to make around 1,000 per not the profit we were looking for, but you're going to get your MT up a lot more. And honestly, since we're going to get Super Packs Friday, you kind of want to sell some of your cards. You definitely do not want to keep some of your... You don't, want to, you don't want to hold on to a lot of cards. Trust you when I say this. Is it a good time to sell today? Probably not. Is it a good time to sell tomorrow, though? Tomorrow might be a better day to sell. So it's completely up to you guys on what you want to do. Me personally, I'm going to sell some cards today most likely most of almost every card tomorrow 250k tournament is still going on my predictions man ty debo will probably take the throne again if he doesn't get error coded um i actually oh Giannis is a buyout 88k for Giannis. yo that's a snag does he have badges he has a couple badges i think let's compare them to mine this one's about to be bought out probably mine's decently badged out he has a couple extra hall of fame badges so, I don't know. Giannis for 88k, yo. I'm buying that. That's a snag. 88k Giannis. I'll apply some badges to him, make him look a little bit better. He probably sell for 110, man. That's a pretty good value right there. Right now, it's not a bad time to be sniping. The market's decent. Let's check out Lamella Ball. Is there a Lamella Ball diamond up here? 121k. Wow, there's actually not a, not a lot of Lamella Balls up here. Interesting. Okay, I mean, there's actually a lot of Lamella Balls up here. So, Right now, man, I'm going to show you some filters. I'm going to show you what you should do. Today, do you want to sell your cards? Do you want to buy your cards? Well, today is a day that is completely up to you. Honestly, I can't tell. I don't know if it's different on PS4. I don't know if it's on Xbox. Right now, the market's just kind of just stable. I'm expecting a little bit of a market crash maybe later after the 250k tournament is over because then a lot of sweats will end up setting, selling their cards. So we will see. No one really knows what's going to happen. No one knows if the market's gonna crash or rise it's always a prediction man so if you like roast me or something for saying my predictions are wrong man it's not my fault bro they're just predictions no no facts usually my predictions are right but right now i would sell your card sunday but then again here's the whole thing 
We're gonna get content Tuesday, right? We're gonna get those super packs. Then we got Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, man. You know 2K is dropping some heat. They gotta drop heat on Thanksgiving. They're gonna come through. Um, they're gonna drop some type of grinding challenges for sure. Ooh, 24K for a sapphire. I don't even have enough. But y'all, let's go over some filters. So we got Mr. Lamella Ball, amazing snipe filter as per usual. Tracy McGrady. Uh, let's go pink diamond eastern see what's going over here uh let's see what's going on so i do enable pink diamond eastern i have moses malone so all you have to do for this filter is get moses malone and then all you see is pete maravich on this filter and then all the other cards on the eastern side grand hill dominique wilson tracy mcgrady gilbert arenas ray allen the list goes on i think nah pedges western um vince carter lebron james so realistically guys this right here eastern pink diamond is definitely going to be an amazing filter to make you lots of mc you should definitely try it out it's definitely worth a try um diamond glitch i like to always go over the stocktons the other day i should have bought a stocking for around 68,000 mc he crashed so much now if you invested in stockton you're gonna make bank is it a good time to invest in him now probably not right now it's not really a good time to invest in any cards unless you just got that Giannis for 88k that is a fire investment Giannis was used all over the 250k tournament. I think every single player that I versed had Giannis. Giannis was a key point to the 250k. He's very lanky. He's very long. He could also stop Blake Griffin. So that's probably why a lot of people used him. But yo guys, there's just a lot going on. It's either it's completely up to you if you just sell your cards right now. To make MT, man, to make MT, you just got to monitor some cards. Like if you see Monta Ellis crash down to 80, scoop them up. You just got to monitor cards right now. That's how you're going to make the most MT. You got to know pricing. That's another thing. You got to know pricing. So like monitoring one card. This is one thing I like. Shooting guard pink diamond is a great filter to monitor. Brandon Roy and Mono Ginobili go up and down consistently. Almost every single day they go up, then they go down. They go up, then they go down. One of the filters I like, diamond glitch. Another one you want to honestly filter. Pretty much, man a lot of it right now you just should be filtering the market just keep checking see what's going down because now since the market is so cluttered here's a little tip since the market is cluttered you're going to see a couple things you're going to see a like something very very weird when the market's cluttered there might be a 15k snipe up there and not a lot of people will see it they're a little scared of buying it so you want to buy it don't be that person that's scared yesterday bro or two days ago i was scared to buy have a check for 85 I was also scared to buy Pete Maravich for 65. Ended up buying both. They both worked out. Havlicek hasn't really worked out that much. Other day, got a Garnett on a bid for 95K. I think it was on stream. I was a little scared. And look at that, man. 22 minutes left. There's not a lot of Garnets on the market, man. We're going to make bank off this Kevin Garnett. So, man, if you're really scared, if you're really, really scared to actually make that commitment and actually buy out the card, don't be scared. If you take an L, it's not going to be major. If you take a W, it's going to be it's going to be pretty good. So, even if you take the L on those 100k cards, 90k cards, listen, you're going to lose about 9k. If you have the MT, it's whatever. You're going to make it back somehow in some way. So, don't be scared to just pull the trigger. But yo, other than that, man, if you have any other questions, that's all we got for the video. Thanks for who come out to the stream, man. All the people that came out to the stream are goaded. But yeah, Thanks for coming out, boys. Have a good one. I'll see you tomorrow. Top Snipe Filters tomorrow. And we got Red Zone Sunday. Too bad the Bills aren't a buy. But yo, have a good one, boys. Peace. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure to be up on Instagram and Twitter. I am buying and selling MT. Hit me up right now.